Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to do parameterization in load runner. So we had a recorded, we recorded a script and we enhanced a script uh, which is uh, logging into application, home page, log into application and log out. So the application is off top of JPEG store and uh, we are using into the we, we are using and we are logging into the application uh, and we are logging out. We are logging out. So this is the username and password we are using for login. So now we'll create a parameter uh, that will uh, parameter for the username password. So here I'm creating the name as a uh, user login details. User login details and click here create table. So once you create table, so you got uh, uh, you got it, uh, table value here. So now I'll rename the folder as credentials. User credentials. Uh, no, I'll make it as a p underscore username, and I'll create another uh, another another value, another column as well. User one. Okay, so if you go now, uh, it was created. Now click on edit with notepad. So here I'm changing the value p underscore p underscore p underscore is again comma p underscore password and a password. So after clicking after opening the notepad, so you should have a new line here. So if you don't have a new line, if you don't have a new line, uh, JMeter, sorry, Loadrunner will throw an exception that uh, test data is not ended with a new line. Okay, so which column you want to select? So first column or second column? So here the column name should match with your variable name. If you see here, so p underscore username, p underscore username, which should both should match. So are you taking the variable name with uh, are you taking the variable name with uh, column by number column number or by name? So we'll take the variable name with the name. Uh, you will have p underscore username. username. So actually you will get the variable name with the variable name drop down. So now you see if you got the both the name now. So this is a that uh, uh, data file, that file, where you have these two columns with p underscore user and p underscore password. Now I'm select, I'm creating a new parameter, p underscore password. Okay, so instead of uh, thing, I'm adding existing file. Now by column, I'll select the value, password. Here, the, what I do is like, uh, now I want the uh, first value equal to first value, second column equal to second value. So if I use another row, uh, this is let's let's take if you are using user two with dummy uh, password, dummy password. So the right, the, the I, I want to pick the complete uh, row, not the independent columns. So I need to pick the value based on rows, not based on columns. Then what I will do is like uh, same line as p username. Okay, same line as p username. So I'm taking the password here. Same line as username. So when this user is picked, this value is picked, fixed, uh, picked, sorry, give the password, password, this is all, this is the very value load are going to pick up. Okay. Yeah, now uh, we created two way parameters. So I'm taking, let's say, taking the parameter name here by clicking F2. Uh, then use the floor bracket to replace with variable name and take the password um, to, to rename it and copy the value and we are using the floor brackets to replace my value okay so now uh, replace uh, to just to see the uh, value what it was uh, picking go to the runtime settings go to runtime settings uh, go to uh, log, go to the log, from here enable logging, 
that should be enabled. So external login use the password substitution. So when you have to use the password sub uh, substitution, it will uh, it will log the value what it was picked uh, from a CSV file or what it was correlated uh, from your script. So if you see that uh, there is a home page passed with uh, response time and next transaction with pass click on sign in. Now uh, here if you see that it was picked the value user one and password pass. So it will show you the all correlated values. It will show you the all correlated values. All correlated as substituting. When the variable is substituted, uh, then it will show you the value what it was using in that request. Okay, that is uh, one of the options we can use. And while during your load test, make sure you have disabled all these options. So you have disabled the extender log because it will consume a lot of memory in your LG. So make sure you are disabled the uh, you are using standard log instead of extended log. And if it is if you are using for debugging purpose, then please use the parameter substitution and the data retrieval server as per your requirement. Otherwise, uh, use a standard log and the one KB always when occur error to log in cache. So that will disable your uh, uh, a lot of uh, lot of uh, memory and your CPU utilizations and uh, uh, resource utilizations in your LGs and your test will be very fast. Okay, thanks for listening this friends. Thanks for listening this. Uh, in next video, we will see how to uh, add a search in your two responses and how to uh, do uh, executions using your VHR. Thanks for listening this friends.